Stop by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation? for an extended period of time. Wouldn't vault tex screening process have caught this already? vault tex screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease. Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Paladin. Let's talk to Proctor Tegan. I bet he has some excellent mods for our power armor.
Excuse me. Do you think you could help me? Easy. I'm here now. Tell me what happened. <sighs> well, sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There must be something we can do to help you. Can we leave now? You can travel with me. See the world. Yes. Let's go. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss him so much. Day goes by that I don't thank my lucky stars that I live here. Hey, you are got a second? I have an idea I'd like to run by you. How are things going? Not too bad. Still finding my way around, but the people here have been very accommodating. I think I made the right choice in coming here. I've got some ideas and upcoming things, though. Not saying you need improvement, but... Well, if you're interested, I'll tell you the first one. I'm listening. Go ahead. So I spent the last few days getting settled in. Still getting used to things, but... I can't help but notice there's a lot of junk around here. Wait, no. That came out wrong. What I mean is, there's a lot of stuff just lying around. I have a way we can make use of it. I used to be a junk runner from my old home. Anything that was useful in the ruins outside the walls, I could find it. Even things the others ignored. If we had a place here where people could drop off the extra scrap, I know some ways to get the most out of it. If you were willing to mark off some space where we could pull something like that together, I'd make sure people took it seriously. What do you think? What do you mean by home? Oh, um... Well, I used to live in a small town north of the Commonwealth, up near the ruins of Manchester. Barely more than a hole in the wall, really. But good, honest people lived there, and they made it feel like a real home. I miss my friends. I wish I could go back. Maybe tell them about what you have going here. But that's... That's not an option anymore. Anyway, I had a good workshop set up back then. I'd like to build something like that again. Maybe even better than what I had before. What do you mean? What happened? Raiders happened. Much bigger group than I've ever seen. They tore apart everything that made that place my home. Figure I'd be dead too if I hadn't been out on a run when they attacked. I saw the smoke and ran back, but by the time I did, there wasn't anybody left for me to help. I... Look, there's no need to dig up more than that. I've had the last few weeks to mourn what I've lost. I'm hoping this will get my mind off it. So would you be willing to try it? I promise it'll be well worth the time invested. I think it's a great idea. Really? You think so? That's great! Thank you so much. Mark off the space where you want us to set up shop, and we'll take care of the rest. Another 
trash now. Now, where did I put that? Oh, hi, boss. Hey, got a sec? Oh, it's you, the wolf dweller. Anyway, I don't know if you remember me. I'm Michael. We met a while back. got some business to take care of. I wish you good luck, further. So, what are you buying? I've got a few minutes to browse. the time. I love being robbed and tied up. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. Finally. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Let's go. What kind of trouble? They showed up in force a few days ago. There were too many of them. We had to give them what they wanted. 
They said as long as we kept paying them tribute, they'd leave us alone. At least we know where they're hiding out. Here, I'll mark it on your map. How many raiders were there? Too many for us to handle. But I bet you won't have any problems with them. I'll see what I can do. Oh, really? Thanks. I didn't know what we were going to do about them. What are you going to do now? <laughs> what now? I'm going to get Crow sobered up and maybe teach him not to let his one night stands tie him up and rip him off. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, not worrying about him might result in a dead brother. Anyway, I'll throw in a bit extra for you. Thank you again. Crop's coming in pretty good. So, you talk to Raymond. Okay, yeah. Hope you didn't tell her I was tied up like some sort of hostage or something. Maybe. Why do you ask? Look, don't. I'll give you more caps than her. I swear that on my fucking eyes. Just don't tell her how you found me. Why not? Because she's hard enough to deal with. And I'm the one who has to live with her. As she's my twin, which she doesn't let me forget. Fine. Whatever. Thanks for seeing it my way. Here's a few extra caps for you. hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed.